April 21st, 2023, and I am so excited today. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Francesca Jeanette, fashion, beauty, lifestyle vlogger, and now new home journey vlogger. <laughs> I'm sharing my new home journey. My husband and I are building a semi-custom home, and we have shared our journey thus far from the lot to the house and every step along the way of that process. And today, we are having our new homeowner's orientation. So time is winding down, y'all. We got our closing date. If you saw in the last vlog, we got our closing date. We were able to move the date out since we were not going to be in town for the original closing date. They were able to move it out and I'm so excited for that because I want to be able to capture the moment. So we'll be here in town, experience the closing. So today we're gonna go every go over everything um, concerning the house. There's still a couple of items that need to be fixed. So that's going to be handled within the next week and a half. But we're going to learn how everything works, learn where everything is, and we're going to go um, meet our builder manager's new home orientation uh, assistant, I guess, <laughs> whatever his title is. He's gonna show us how everything works, air-wise, HVAC-wise, um, electric-wise, outlet-wise, all that good stuff. So I am blue tape ready. I just picked up some blue tape from Sherwin Williams and I'm running a little bit late because I had to pick the kids up from school. But Travis is already there. He is um, already there talking with them. So I'm going to meet up with them and kind of give a second eye to some things that I see as a realtor. Um, but he's going to check out some things as well. So we're gonna list everything that needs to be completed on top of what's already being fixed and everything that needs to be cured hopefully will be done by closing because I ain't got time to be asking no warranty people to come out after the fact to fix stuff that should have already been fixed. So where is my blue tape? All right, let me find it, hold on. Okay, so I'm out the car, y'all. I got my blue tape. I got my little notepad with my realtor cards. And I gotta grab my pen so I can be ready to mark these things that need to be marked so they can be fixed. Excuse my hair. It's a little, a little windy outside. Yeah, so we are about to be good to go. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. Okay. All right, the lady floors. You're gonna get some pops and creeps and some stuff, but. If you've got one that you're walking through and it's like, ah, got it. That's, I'm not Cabinets, sure. caulking, condensation for the windows, whirlpool care, countertop care, doors, drywall, electrical system, fireplace. Oops, that's something in there. Mm -hmm. Somebody done dropped something in there. We'll go grab a charger. Right okay. Here. Uh, any questions on how to operate the dishwasher? The QA on it, the QC, QA. And I was like, there's no. Yeah, I can see that with my camera, so I. Tazzy vlog. Just going through a little bit of green and blue tape. That red spot right there on the trim. Was that the bottom? Oh. Uh, he got the bottom already. Yeah. Just right here, little paint drips, and then some splatter got on the door. Mm -hmm. A little divot here. Makes up the top of the head. Yep, no pop. This is a lot. 
This is a lot. And then because we have white paint, it's hard to see everything. So like we have all the blue tape. It's just mainly paint drips and stuff needs to be re it. So nothing major, thank God. I'm very, very pleased with what I'm finding. Um, you just know the kids are gonna mess it up further, so. <laughs> be prepared. It's, they used to have a, a, a big circuit breaker, so they don't use that anymore. It's just a light switch. Okay. So to cut the system off, turn it off, and it's easier to get the filter out when you do that. That's Yon Filter. Hey, Yon Filter. <laughs> so if you want to take a picture of it, or I guess you are. Yep. So, very simple, you just have this right here, it pulls out, this is the one we keep in for construction. Always make sure which way the arrows are going. So, what I do, because <laughs> you, pull, you. The, pull the filter out. Then you have to start looking. Okay, so if this uh -huh. is coming in through this, this have is to do baby. algebra and trigonometry. Correct. <laughs> Math is not my forte. Airflow, airflow. You see the little dips? It fits exactly between those two Correct. pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, so we're pretty much done. I'm just turning off all the lights because, I mean, the house isn't in our name. The electricity isn't in our name, but I still am like, we got to save energy. Like, let's not have all these lights on. Um, the main issues we found was just a couple of, well, not a couple, a few nail pops already. Um, some of the areas on the walls needed to just be re-sanded, repainted. Um, you have like some paint drips from when they painted um some of the hvac vents were not flush to the wall so that has to be flush as far as our primary bathroom there's some towel that has some manufactured defects and the towel has to basically come up and be redone um as far as the shower is concerned on camera it looks good but some of the towel is sticking out further than the rest of the towel and unfortunately that's just an install discrepancy i guess so once i get this wall down i may request for this to be good because the niche looks horrible there's nothing they can do unfortunately um which I'm sad about because when you move into a house, you want to enjoy it, right? When you move in, you don't want to have to think about work. You already have to get redone. But we'll talk with the builder a little bit more to see if there's anything else they can do to fix it. So carpet is in. As you can see, we do have the carpet padding in here. I can feel it with my bare toes. We got the extra carpet padding we paid for. So that's that. On to the garage. Pull it up. Mm hmm Yeah, it's like something fell. Like something fell high. And just, cause those were not there. But maybe, yeah. You said there were Running the gas. They had to do this gas so, this look, like two weeks ago. They had to run this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good possibility. Without put on there, fill holes in basement. And I guess the basement windows are okay. That one's still up, maybe for ventilation. I'm not touching it. Mm -hmm. um, and you never want to use pressure sensitive on a on a wood floor mm -hmm. or like an actual wood like that that one that's upstairs because if it still stays gooey what happens is it soaks into the wood and destroys it. Mm -hmm. pressure sensitive is good for the hard stuff 
Okay, y'all, so we just walked outside to check the sprinkler system. What I'm gonna do now is check all the water, check all the toilets, make sure they flush. So. Oh, ta Taking the hot water, taking the hot water a while for some water. I'll ask him about that. I'll check the toilet. So that's the guest bathroom. I'm gonna check the sink. Y'all see me in this house. <laughs> he already checked the garbage disposal. Cool. We'll check the primary bathroom now. shower yet because I still think they have work to do in the shower okay. you, you seeing how to put it back on right just four pins four two pins. on each side and it just hooks up okay over. all right I don't see her and I hear screaming I'm like hey, I gotta run outside yeah just go That's you mean do I want the, the round part of the light yeah um back black yeah, you want white. I don't know if they did that to make it blend in with the botch wood job. <laughs> I guess they could paint in that wood so it's white. Possible. Because you that, can see the exposed wood. I don't even know how to even put that on there. I was just going to show that to David. Yeah, you, I don't even know how to word that. You can see like where they should have, I guess, used a circular saw or something. They like took a chisel or something. Yeah, and chewed on it. Chewed on, that's what it looks like, something chewed on it. So if they can't round it off and make it look more aesthetically pleasing, if they could just paint it white so the wood isn't exposed, at least. Paint the wood white where Correct. they chipped at it. Because I'm going to see that every time I drive in the garage. Like burn the whole house down. That top is hand right. There he goes with our balloons. <laughs> what a long day. Three hours. Three hours. Mm mm mm. Oh, the garage. Can the garage stay up? Three whole hours. <laughs> of blue and green taping so apparently the blue tape is for all the errors and the green tape is for the drywall stuff that needs to be done so that's a lot there goes our garage closing oh my gosh <laughs> okay so we are done y'all um 
this concludes the vlog for our home orientation i added a little bit of clips in there but we needed all four of our eyes well six of our eyes with our customer um what is he called customer care professional adam he was so great i actually wish we had him as our builder manager because he just what y'all need what y'all need what y'all need i'll write it down i'll write it down he was really cool so thank you adam for a pleasurable experience um we're gonna go get some food the in-laws are coming in so we have to go prepare for that and i'm hungry you hungry Very much so. i'm starving I think all I had today was muffins and a little bit of Ritz crackers, so I'm very hungry. My lips are dry because they parched. Let me get some lip gloss. Sorry, y'all. Open this. Sorry, y'all. It wasn't really locked, was it? Yeah. The lips was dry, okay? Because the throat is dry. I'm parched. I'm hungry. So, home orientation, probably in another video or later on in this video, I'll go through a list of some things that we made sure we covered. Um, a couple of things I just left off because we are on a basement lot, so it kind of, things will shift and sound different because we're on a basement lot. And we have a basement underneath us, so those are just things you can't help. Once we get the basement finished, which will be a couple of years from now, things will sound a little bit different because of extra insulation in the basement ceiling so it won't sound as hollow so we'll get all that covered but we are done two more weeks two more weeks <laughs> why the sun no trying to beat me up i was doing that and it's not even windy no it's a little bit of wind it's a little bit so two more weeks until closing we already got gifts so thoughtful i don't know what my gift is going to be for my buyer client probably the refrigerator <laughs> four thousand dollar refrigerator no nah, that'll really be my gift we'll see what you want for your closing gift me i'll let you know later you want me sure i'm all the gift you need i'm all the gift you need honey Anyway, um, I'll come back on and let y'all know some of the things that we look for and some of the things you should look for if you're in your um, new construction journey. Um, it's a lot of things you can overlook because it's just so much, but I'll provide y'all with a little listy list so you'll be prepared too. So let me know in the comments um, what you thought and I'll check in with y'all later. Bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs>